New this evening, first responders now have a new service that'll help protect them while taking care of stranded drivers. It's called ASAP. Wait to do Xavier Weary joins us live now from Huntsville after speaking with a former first responder about the benefits of the service. Xavier. Hey, Nikhil, you know, this brand new truck and fairly new service is here to make lives easier in Huntsville. And I spoke with a former sergeant who says a service like this is a huge bonus for the city of Huntsville. It'll help law enforcement with traffic control. It'll help first responders uh, with traffic incident management to clear the roadway quicker. Uh, and, and get the capacity of the roadway back to, to normal. As the brand new ASAP truck patrols Interstate 565 and I-65, retired State Trooper Sergeant of 27 years Glenn Taylor knows all about ASAP and how effective the service can be. I worked up here, I know the roadways, and the ASAP is a, is a wonderful program. It's been around since 1997 uh, and, and has helped a whole, a whole lot with traffic incidents and managing it, keeping secondary incidents from occurring on the roadway. ASAP, which is known as the Alabama Service and Assistant Patrol, operated around Birmingham for more than 20 years. It has been in Huntsville since June, but not having the official ASAP truck, the company was operating in a limited capacity. Now with its brand new truck, ASAP is able to cover all of Interstate 565 and 65 between exit 334 at Priceville and exit 340 at Interstate 565. The truck can be used in a couple of ways. One of the ways in particular is to provide traffic control support uh, with the cones that we have available to us on the truck as well as the message board and uh, the strobes that we have so we could draw attention to there's a problem up here. The other side of that is it has the ability to meet the Alabama state law to clear the roadway and uh, to be able to move vehicles, push, pull, drag, things like that. And that's not all. There's a service provided free of charge that will help motorists who are in need, whether it's providing limited gas, water for overheated vehicles, changing flat tires, and more. One of the things that we're focused on is trying to make sure that we use uh, the capacity that we have to the best of our ability, uh, minimize incidents, and if we have incidents, we want to remove them quickly. While this new service continues to establish itself in Huntsville, Taylor firmly believes this will help make the lives of first responders and law enforcement a bit easier. I wish I'd had it when I was up here. Uh, the signboards, the traffic cones, having another vehicle behind you to protect you from oncoming traffic that may uh, lose control for some odd reason and, and strike your vehicle. I wish, I wish we would have had it. Now, as of right now, there's only one ASAP, tr ASAP truck patrolling the interstate. Those times are going to be on Monday through Friday between 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Dot says that they are currently working on getting one more truck. But for now, reporting live in Huntsville, Xavier Wary, Way 31 News.